outside Claire and Edson's house right now. What is your full name, including any nicknames you may have had in the past? I have no nicknames. My full name is Marie Claire Bellby. What's well, Marie first, is it? Your middle name is Claire? Mm -hmm. yeah. Were you named after somebody? No. No. Where were you born? St. Gregory, Quebec. Okay, in a hospital or were you born in a home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was baptized the same day as I was born. Oh, really? In your home also? No. Or we not? Took, did, did they take you? They took me to the church, which was just a little distance. Oh, I was really? five years old and we came back to Alberta. I see. Oh, yeah. What type of a home was it? Was it, uh, it was a very nice brick home, running water, everything. How many bedrooms were there maybe, or did you have? Well, I know there was two because we, as children, had the one bedroom and we just had to cut across right in the same kind of a cupboard, closed closet. Oh, yeah. And we just went through that closed closet into my mother's room through oh, there. Yeah real bad times, but we had a milk business when we came to Alberta, and uh, that gave us enough. We had lots of food. Oh, yeah. We even gave some away to some people who didn't have enough. So there were three of you that were born in, in Quebec. Quebec. Who, who were they? Uh, Jane and Rita and myself. And were you the... I was the oldest. You were the oldest. Thirteen children. Oh my goodness! So I had yeah. five brothers actually. Right. Two of them passed away when they were babies. Oh really? Okay. And uh, yeah. the rest were girls, eight girls. Oh wow! Yeah. Who were your parents? Emmerich, and Lucia and Rive. What was your mom's maiden name? Emmerich Labby. Labby. And were their family from Eastern from Canada? From Morinville. Oh, from Morinville. Dad came to work in uh, Morinville because he couldn't speak English, so they looked for the French place. Oh, yeah. My dad, Mr. Allery, and Mr. Gavette, which was my dad's cousin. That's where he met my mother. You know, my mother's oh, yeah. mother really wanted them to come back. She figured my mother had to work too hard over there, but it was not worse up here. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Edson, uh, what's your full name, including any nicknames you may have had in the past? Etienne, Joseph, Ellery, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you have the, a nickname? I don't think so. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I know people call you EJ well, now a lot, don't they? they? Yeah. They can't pronounce it. So. They can't. <laughs> Etienne. Yeah. Have you been? So where were you born? I was born in... Edmonton, but we moved to Jeremy right after I was born, I guess. Oh, oh so you were born in Jeremy, born, Jeremy, yeah. my life. Yeah. Were you born in a hospital in Edmonton then? Or in, I in think home? I must have been. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I, I assumed maybe you were, everybody was born in Westlock. I didn't realize you were in the city at that point. Well, it's just for they, they were married in Bourneville first, and then uh, we stayed there, I guess, and then she went to, he took her to the hospital then, and I think that's what happened. Right, yeah. yeah. Is that your yeah. very first home in a I sense? Think they moved, like, uh, I think they moved up here just after I was born. Okay, yeah. all right. So where was your first home located? Behind our store, our store was oh, Yeah. And what kind of a house was it then? Was it just a, was it a very big house or? No, it was just a shack type. Yeah, yeah. That's all there was in the country that time. Right, you're the oldest, aren't you? I'm the oldest, yeah. Um, Auntie Claire, uh, what do you remember about Mr. and Mrs. Allery? I never knew Mrs. Alley. No, I guess she wouldn't, would you? No, she died in 1939. Okay. You see, I came here in 44. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. So it was five years later then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I uh, came here to help my parents move here in Jarvie. And then I stayed working for Mr. Alley. Oh, did you? Yeah. And after that, I well, that was in 44, and then we were married in 46. Oh yeah, so is that how you met Uncle Edson? I mm -hmm. had met him before. He came to pick up some of his brothers at the hospital. Oh yeah. When they came to have their tonsils out. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With his dad. 
but uh, uh, Auntie Clara, um, what do you remember about Mr. Ellery? He was very good to everybody and very easy to work for. Mm -hmm. A good father-in-law? Yes, extra good. Yeah. Um, Uncle Edson, do you remember uh, who your dad's friends were? Well, Mr. Reva, of course, is his first friends who moved up in this country, and Mr. Dupuy, I guess, and yeah. the two Newtoms, uh, Roy Newtom and, and Pat Newtom. Okay. That was, uh, that was uh, his age, you know. Right, yeah. The big cards were friends with him. Oh, the big cards with Mr. Grange and Mr. Okay. Collette. That yeah. was good friends, too, I guess. Yeah. Mr. Freed, you know, he was a station agent. Oh, okay. were your friends yeah. as you were growing up? Oh, well, Art Newman and George Speechley, who else? Bert Martin, yeah, of course. Those were your closest friends, anyway? I yeah. think they were maybe my closest friends. And Bud Ingman, I guess okay. he was. Pretty close to Right after the war there. And Clara, so. where did you go to school? In Pickerville. Oh, yeah, and how did you get there? We walked the two miles in the summer and rode with a cutter and horse in the winter. What, what's a cutter? Is that. It's a kind of a little sleigh with, that you can sit just one row in it. Oh, okay. Two seats or yeah. three, you know. It just took one horse to pull it. Oh, okay. I never got to start school until I was close to nine years old. Oh, okay. Because I could not speak English and we had to wait for a French teacher to be able to go to school. Oh, I see. Okay. So I started going to school to uh, Woodland School, going with the Watson girls. I just took a, a nurse's aides course. Oh yeah. How long of a course was that? Dr. Whistle was the one that was teaching us. Oh, okay. Just in Westlock then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, for two years, I just off and on, he would do, uh, we'd study and then I worked while I was taking the course okay. at the hospital. Yeah. So was that your your first job? Yeah. Well, Uncle yeah. Edson, um, where did you go to school at? Well, the first grade one was in Jarvie. Oh, it was. You went to yeah. grade one, hey? That was yeah. the same kind of school. I don't know how many grades. I think there's at least ten, ten grades in the same yeah. school. Yeah. yeah. And did you go to the convent? From then on? Well, I started back in grade one there and then uh, went up to grade six. Oh, you did? Oh, you yeah, had to start? Take both French yeah. and English there. Oh, I see. After yeah. convent, we went to St. John's College for three years, I believe. Oh, yeah. And then was that um, all the education you No, I took one to? year of commercial course in the Jesuit College. In the city? In Edmonton, yeah. yeah. Right, right after you went to St. John's College? Yeah. Did you just do it all in a row? Oh yeah. That was it. And then I started to work at the store. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So, um, how were your days in the convent? Um, long. Long. Long <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we didn't see our anybody for in between. You know, when you start school to Christmas, and we'd see him once. And then uh, it'd be the same thing after Christmas. Yeah. See him once and. Because you know, they, Dad had the only car in Jerby at that time, and it was a Model, model A, I believe, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how he, so he took us down there. Yeah. Of course, the roads were, weren't too famous in those days. No. You had to watch for rain clouds and sure. snow clouds and you name it. Yeah. yeah, so travel wasn't something you did on a regular basis. No, it sure yeah. wasn't. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, it must have been hard being the first one at such a young age to go away. Well, there were two of us. There was, yeah. My, my brother Leo. Lee. And, and I'm not sure if Arden was there. Well, they, I think we were three or four at one time at the convent, but when we first started, I think it was just the two of us. Okay, so when you first started, you didn't have to go all by yourself, and then no. your brother Leo came, at least the two of you were there together. Yeah. And then you started working at the store with, uh, with Grandpa? Yeah. And. <coughs> Were there ever since, I guess, eh? Yeah, ever since. When Dad died, of course, uh, three of us took over. Mm -hmm. We kept on until five years ago, six years ago. Right, yeah. So did you, you enjoy working at the store? Oh, yeah. Did you say? Yeah. I was farming as well when I was at the store there, so. Oh, yeah. So with the farm, did you purchase the farmland after Grandpa passed away, or did no. Grandpa have the land he had before? The land. 
Yeah. He had it. Do you know when he purchased it? Oh, I don't know. It was it? Do you think when he first came to Jarvie, or in? Oh, well, was. Do you think over the years? Or? It was over the years. Yes. Over the years. Yeah. Somewhere. More or less debts, I guess, that were paid. Oh, is that and right? In yeah. In the thirties, nobody could afford to pay anything, so they had land and they they paid their debt with that. With their land, yeah. yeah. Um, do you still own the same land that you always have, or did you sell some of it? No, we sold some of it. Yeah. We just own two quarters anymore. What did you used to have? How much land did you used oh, to have? Oh, probably three or four quarters besides that. Yeah. But we never, never farmed them. So. Oh, you didn't? Did somebody else farm yeah. them? And they just well, there was no farm. There was, or no, there was no land to farm on. Actually, it was just bush. Oh, I see. Okay, so it wasn't cleared at that time then. No. Yeah. Well, there might have been 15, 20 acres, which was a lot in those days, because all they had was horses. Well, when did you start farming? Well, when you Mr. Rebeck in, in the country, uh, he taught me to. Oh yeah. <laughs> we had a yeah. Philip had the name of, was an uncle of ours, or my brother. He had the farm in Jarvie here, Mr. Uh, Bean. Oh, Mr. Bean, you know. Fifty-four May, we decided to start up the CWL organization. Father Bex was the one that wanted us to start this up, and uh, I was the first CWL president. And Henrietta was our first secretary. Oh, yeah. And it still exists today. It still the exists CWL. today. We're going to celebrate our fiftieth next May. Oh, that was Quite a bit closer was Father Morissette. Mm -hmm. His mother and my mother went to school together, and when he came to Jarvie, he got in touch with my parents, and then we all just stayed pretty close. Oh, yeah. Did you uh, get married in Jarvie? In yes. This church? Father Gorman Father married Gorman. us. Oh, yeah. Was it a nice day when you got married? It was nice, but it was cold. It was cold. Oh, yeah, that was the end of September. Or end of February, I should say. End of February, yeah. And I froze Four, my feet. Five foot banks, snow oh, banks. No. <laughs> being, being that it was something different, I just went with little sandals in the snow. Oh. So you can imagine. Was it a big wedding? No, very small. Mm -hmm. That was big for here. Big for here? <laughs> <laughs> Were all your brothers and sisters there? Were they yep. all able to attend? Yeah, mm -hmm. we went to the convent and asked if they wanted to come, and the sisters had told us they could, so naturally they said yes. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the college and asked them if they uh, let them know we were getting married and if they wanted to come to the wedding. And Roger says, do you need to ask that? <laughs> <laughs> so they all came to the wedding. Well, uh, what I should mention about the church, my dad, He's the one that built it, where oh. that he's supplied everything for it. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. 19, about 1936, I think, or 38, he's the one that built it. Oh, yeah. And did all the people just in the community get together and build it? Yeah. Yeah. All the, all the Catholics, I guess. All the Catholics, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he supplied the... Supplied the lumber. Supplied the lumber the money that was needed to. Oh, I didn't of course, realize uh, that. Was, was some other money donated as well, but I guess he supplied the majority of it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Ten children, ten spouse, twenty-four grandchildren, seven spouses of the grandchildren, <laughs> and five great-grandchildren. Oh my goodness, you've got a house full when they all come home. More than a house full. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say was the most rewarding about being a parent? Well, it's, they all got one real good, so they all come often and arrange to come a few together all the time. Yeah, it's always good to they see them. They all seem to be happy to come home, so. Yeah. They all seem to get along together. I think probably that's the, probably the most rewarding. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Um, Uncle Edson, what do you remember about Uncle Leo? Well, he's in the second oldest, and uh, I was turned down for the army. And I went, and he he just joined on his own. He was underage when he joined, but they didn't know that, I guess, or they didn't care. Oh yeah. And did did he lie about his age? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he lied about it. He must have, I guess, because they weren't weren't allowed to be in the army at that time. Yeah. How old was he? Eighteen, I think. I think he was younger than eighteen. Yeah. And how how come you were were you turned down? Did you? Well, I was class C, and I I got a dad needed help in the store, so I stayed and helped in the store instead. I see. What I don't know what a class C is. Well, what does that mean? Well, it was class A, B, and C, and I was a the lower class, like you know. So you you that, weren't. Uh, I wasn't uh, healthy enough to be in the army. And uh, Uncle Leo just went and signed up by himself, did yeah. he? Like he didn't get called. Did you get called? Did a person yeah, get called? Yeah, I got called. Yeah. Away to war, and did and Uncle Leo didn't get called away. He just signed up, did yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. And you were the closest to him in age, weren't you? Like yeah, he was, I was, the, he was one year younger than Yeah. So, so Armin, we were going to try and talk a little bit about Leo and what you remember about Leo. Um, I know that you were uh, between Leo and Alphonse in age. You should maybe ask a few questions about Alphonse as well. But uh, Leo went off to the war before you did. And he was actually had been killed before you went to war. Is that that's right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was killed in December 1943, and I joined up in July of 44. Right. So, mm -hmm. so like only a half a year later. A half a year later. And you were scheduled to go to Ortona, Italy, just like he yeah, had gone. Yeah. If you hadn't broke your glasses. Yeah. I don't know if my glasses had been there. He yeah. might have gone there. Hmm. Yeah. And then who knows what. That's right. <clears throat> but you guys were pretty close. You played uh, hockey and chummed around a lot as kids. Kind of, hmm. that's true to say. On the best, best friend basis. Yeah. He was, and he was a brother, but a best friend at the time. And, uh, uh, we, en we enjoyed ourselves together. Mister, when he left, mm. yeah, it must have been, mm. must have been some pretty bad news. Eh? Mm. Did you, did you, uh, did it seem like you know that wasn't likely going to happen when he headed off to war? That you know, you always kind of figure you're going to see your mm. brother again. I guess you don't even think of it, did you? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And yet, then you went and signed up six months later. I'm not thinking about it either. Yeah. <laughs> Leo. Uh, well, I remember him quite well. I remember one incident when he was leaving to go overseas, and, uh, and I said to him, "I said, are you sure that they're fighting over there? You know, is there shooting people?" Couldn't believe it. I remember that. He said, "Oh yeah, it's that's why we're going there." He said, it's "To stop this war, with it." And I remember that. He left. <coughs> but I remember him well. Was he a lot like the rest of you boys? So? Pretty well, yeah. Yeah, he was very, very active and very well liked everywhere. Yeah. Well, Arthur, when you were growing up, your brothers faced the war. What was your feelings about your older brothers going to war? My feeling about him going to war? Uh, well, really, I guess that. Uh, I was waiting to have my turn, oh, yes. <laughs> so I, I, I had no bad feelings about it. You know. Right. So, and, uh, well, what do you remember particularly about Leo? Leo, uh, he was uh, very, very pleasant to go along with. He was uh, uh, pretty strong. Good fighter. I remember him fighting him and Art Newnham fighter fighting, you know. And <laughs> so <laughs> you could beat Art Newnham? No, I think Art. That one time, Art, uh, when we were down at the, down at the river, Art knocked him out. And uh, but Leo was a good sport. He laid there for a while. I thought, gee, you know, I was pretty. I was quite a bit smaller then. You know, I thought, boy, maybe I wonder if he killed him. I was thinking he'd be dead. 
But he got up, and he, I remember he got up, and he went up to him and shook his hand. <laughs> Good sport. <laughs> Good sport. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I have. Uh, I have good memories of, of him, good memories of all of them. Um, Roger, do you remember um, Uncle Leo very well, or do you remember when he went off to war? Yeah, I remember he was in the Army, he was in the uniform. But I don't, uh, I had fun with him, so I don't really learn that much of him. Did Teddy ever talk about his older brothers going to war? You know, he didn't. No? I just knew that Leo had died in the war, but he really never talked about it, about it. like not when they heard the news or he just didn't ever say anything and uh, I guess I really didn't inquire. Yeah. And the same with Alphonse, you know, he told me how he had died and that's about it. Yeah. So I... I I don't know if the other boys remember a lot, or, um, or whether it was just yeah. I, I, very strange. But uh, no, you know, I'm not strange. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's different. That um, I, I, I just found it hard. But I, I never inquired very much. I guess about that. And how much age difference was there between Teddy and the those? I, I really don't know. Um, so Teddy was down at the uh, bottom. Yes, so yes there, he was he, quite young. Yes. So I guess it didn't really affect him that yes. much. Yeah, that's, um, that's probably what it was. You sort of was. forget or yeah. you don't really know what's happening, I guess. Right. Leo, what do you remember about Leo to us? I, can, I guess I, I can remember the last time I saw him. Yeah. I guess they, they were... I think that the, the, they used to go north. Did they, they did they go right through Jarvie, all the soldiers, for some reason? Oh, yes. They were, mm -hmm. that was a yeah. Go through town. And so then he was, you know, on duty, but he went through town and was just in Jarvie for a little while. And so that time I happened to be at uh, Mrs. Plant's that night with Sylvia, like my cousin Sylvia, I don't know if you know who she is. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so anyhow, we heard that he was in town, so and they lived far, like plants were really quite a long ways out of town, so I was so upset because I knew that they were going to be in town, but somehow we managed, somebody come and got me, so we was able to, and it was kind of nice to see yeah. him, yeah, and he was pretty excited to see me, and, 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 that. and that was, and they would have been coming through Jarvie uh, just because they were on their way to Grand Prairie. Yeah, and uh, and managed so to just to manage to be able to be to stay stop and sort of say hi. And sure, then it just kept going on the way. And you made it. Yeah, and I made it to say goodbye to him or say hi and goodbye sort of thing. Yeah, and it was kind of exciting to see all these soldiers and my brother being one of them. <laughs> and then he never came home. He never came home. No, and I guess and that was whenever he did get killed overseas. I can remember. Like we were at, all at the convent then, and then and we, they didn't let us know until we got home. And then my dad, after he got us to, the, I think it must have been Teddy and Elsa, myself that I can remember, mm -hmm. maybe Paul. So he got out the telegram and he just passed it around to us. So it was a little bit upsetting. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And the. Uh, Uncle Lady, you, uh, you said you can remember Alphonse and Leo a little bit, or maybe Jean uh, as well? Well, I remember Leo because I guess I grew up without parents, father, whatever. So you're looking for heroes. And Leo was always my hero. Mm -hmm. and the one thing I remember, uh, like, you know, we were pretty backwards, shy kids, and we used to come, down, come to town and actually just kind of stand around in the store. And the one day, uh, uh, everybody, like Leo, was working in the store, uh, along with all the brothers and the dad. Everybody went for lunch, and uh, just Leo was in the store, and, and I was the only other person there. So anyway, he uh, got a chocolate bar for himself, and then being as how I was there, he also got one for me. And, uh, you know, a chocolate bar in those days were, you know, the big... Yes. Were, Big chocolate bars, mm -hmm. and any time I'd ever had a chocolate bar, uh, 
we'd buy one and cut that up in ten pieces, and uh, <laughs> we would share it. But anyway, this time I had a whole chocolate bar all to myself, just him and I, him and my hero, uh, yeah. sitting there during noon, noon hour having a chocolate bar. Uh, I remember that, and that was pretty exciting for me. So the only thing I can recall about Leo is when he came home on leave before he went overseas, so you never remember him in his uniform. Well, just that before he went overseas, he, he stopped on leave to at home there. That was an old house in the factory. And, and I remember him just barely. And that was it, he never came back. Yeah. And he was saying goodbye, more or less? Yeah, that, I guess yeah. Uh, before he went overseas. How old do you, would you have been then? Well, probably two or three. Wow. Well, yes. I think he died in 40. Got killed in 40, 43, I think it was. So uh, he, when he when he got killed, I was. And you were born four, in. Only four years old, eh? Right. Yeah. This is Leo and Louis. What picking my nose? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. Yeah. Who's the people here? There's Edson, Armand, Leo, Morris, Teddy, and Therese. Maybe out in front of the convent in the morning. Okay, so who we got? So we've got Edson, Armin, Leo, and Alphonse is in Mr. Allery's hands, and Maurice is in Mrs. Allery's hands. This is Louis and Leo.